Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today we are back in Moonlit Sculptor. I want to apologize for not having any videos coming out over the past four days. I actually haven't been able to log in the game. There's been some technical issues for a few of our accounts. One of our main guys in the actual Discord, one of my patrons, actually quit the game because he couldn't log in still. Um, we just managed to get back into the game recently, so we're going to start cracking on again. I'm so far behind now, especially on the curve with the 167. I'm like in the not even in the top 20 anymore so i'm a little bit pissed off with that but we can only deal with what we can deal with so we're just going to move on and carry on making that content for you guys so today we're going to be talking about how to make about between four and five million gold for like three four minutes work especially with the event that's currently going on so i'm going to explain actually how to do that so if you actually have a look at the event in the season events and you go down to the green day collection you want to save all these points. You don't want to bother buying all these clover suit shit and you don't really need any of that stuff. It's just some random stuff you're going to run around looking like a leprechaun. What you want to do is actually save all of your actual points and buy the goblin tunnel dowsing rods and buy as many of those as you can. You want to go to wherever you're going to be going to go to the alchemy table. I'm going to go to Livius. And once you're in Livius or in wherever you're going to, Cerebral Castle, anywhere like that, just, just find the alchemy table. You go to the alchemy table over here. You go in and you want to create these, these goblin, these radiant goblin magic wands. Now, once you've created all of those, you need 10 dowsing rods. So collect all the dowsing rods you can. Don't use them. Don't bother using them. This is very good for free to play players to make a serious amount of gold so you can upgrade your gear without having to spend loads of money. So you need 10 goblin dowsing rods to create the radiant goblins magic wand. Then you want to go out somewhere into the wilds. I'm just going to go over to Hunter's Hill, basically where I'm living at the moment. You want to go just outside of the safe zone, go into your backpack, go to usables, go down to your goblin, the radiant goblins magic wand. You want to use that and it's going to pop up this little dungeon here. You're going to go inside and once you're inside, you're going to run around and manually kill everything or just press the auto as you're going to be running around. Now you're going to get some serious amount of gold from the boxes, but what the gold really comes from, where you're really going to make most of your gold is from the actual emeralds and stuff that drop now you're going to be making roughly on average about a million gold just from the gold that drops off the actual floor so we started off at just just over 10 million and we're already at 800k just by opening these boxes you can see that the gold is going up and up and up so every time it's opening something up you're going to be getting the gold or you're going to be killing goblins and they're going to be opening up and giving you gold so you're going to want to continue to go through the whole thing kill everything in here if you've got it on auto you can just go afk for five minutes now you can see how much gold is racking up from actually doing this so we have now cleared that we made roughly about 700k in that one there but this is where the real money starts to come into play so you do pick up a lot of these items here. You get a lot of rubies. You can get topazes, emeralds, amethysts, sapphires. You're using these in crafting. Now, if you go into the actual exchange and you start to have a look at how much these are actually worth. Now, I did one earlier for testing just to see what would get out of it. Get a million gold for seven amethysts. 643 for three topazes. 390 for two rubies. 585,000 for six emeralds, two sapphires of 400k. You're going to be racking up that gold. And this is just from one single one. So we're just going to add some more to here. You can put it up to the maximum. These do sell really quickly. So that's another 780,000 gold sitting there. So have a look at the topazes when you're throwing them up. They're 214 for one. So you've got three of them. That's another 600k. You can see how this is going to be building up. A lot of people are going to be using these because they're used in crafting the accessories and jewelry, etc. So these will sell rather quickly. So save up all those goblin dowsing rods and just build them into the alchemy table for the radiance. You go inside, you get your really decent amount of gold from sitting there. We'll just go in and do another one real quick just to show you that it's, it's actually pretty good value all the time. We're going to throw up another one. There we go. Let's go inside. Depending on how active your server is and how many people are actually on the server, those those gems that you're actually getting will sell in seconds or they'll sell, they'll sell in time. They'll always sell. You can put them at the lowest price and they'll sell really quickly or you can put them at the highest price and it'll take a little bit longer to sell, but you will sell them. So we were at 11.1 million before. We're already at 
1,000 after the 11 million is 350k so far. Sometimes you do have to run around and look for it because the auto doesn't grab what you want them to. Sometimes it just runs around in circles with nothing actually there. And these are usually just all in one area. So it's not going to be too difficult to be running around. If I can find this last box. There we go. It was just hiding up on a staircase there randomly. Seems there's more to grab. Hasn't fully completed it yet. But there we have the full actual goblin rod clear again. Let's have a look to see how much money we made this time. So we're sitting at 11,939. That was about 900,000 gold for that couple of minutes work. And then when you go into the items... We have another load of gems sitting there for another couple of hundred thousand gold each to a million gold each. So these are all sitting on the actual auction house. Now save these up and sell them in big batches if you want. Sell them cheap to sell them fast or sell them more expensive or sell them a little bit slower. But you will be making roughly about four to six million gold every time you use one of these rods and as i said earlier with the actual event that's going on now you get a decent amount you can make about 10 of these a day so you can get a goblin rod a day so for those free to play players this is a massive massive thing that you need to start using so you can start buying your better gear i hope this was able to help you guys make sure to like and sub if you haven't already this is your one-stop shop for mobile gaming content fly safe and avoid local chat scams. I want to say a huge thank you to all my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to continue doing what I'm doing. If you'd like to find out how to become a patron and how to get early access to my content, please look down in the description. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.